we decided to ride a couple of US styled cruisers. Um, one's American made, one British made. And obviously that gives uh, two kind of uh, looks at it. You know, one from outside, one from inside as to what these things should be. Uh, so I've got the uh, Triumph Speedmaster, 1200cc Bonneville engine in a new chassis. It's a uh, soft tail look like the Harleys have where the shock absorber's secreted underneath the tank. So you have a cantilever rear. And uh, it's, it's a bit of a, uh, what, what do they call them? They, uh, when they flatten the cars, they call them their... Um, slam. Slam. Yeah. Like a slam. Hey. So th it's been slammed. It's a slammed Bonneville with a hard tail. Excellent. And a uh, lovely thing. What you have... What are you riding? So I'm riding a, an Indian Scout, uh, just shy of 1200cc's, V-twin. Um, and it's a really modern take on a, on a classic bike. Uh, really well engineered, the finishing is fantastic. It's an alternative to what Harley-Davidson are putting out there. It's really a, a cut-back uh, custom that is hmm. as close as, as Americans get to doing a naked bike. Fantastic poses bike. If you're driving 20 miles on that thing, it's a cracking looking bike. Everybody turns around, makes you feel like a bit of John Wayne. It's awesome. Go longer than 30 miles and it's properly shit. Your ass is sore. Well, let's just get okay. Just, oh, we can yeah, cut that out. Take that I just know. down a little bit and then we could maybe use it. <laughs> no, it's well, we can cut that out. No, I, go longer than 30 miles and I'd, I'd want a softer seat on the thing. Thank you very much. It's very nicely said. And from sort of Newport Beach down to Laguna and along the, uh, the coastal highways, this bike is an absolute dream. I mean, it uh, does, does what it says on the tin. I think they've designed a nice bike. It's comfortable for short rides. Conversely, it's not comfortable for long rides. Um, I loved it down in San Diego yesterday. It was really cool. But I struggled on the way back. I mean, we've done a lot of freeway mileage, probably 130, 140 miles on the freeway. And this bike is not built for that. The suspension's not built for it. The seating position's not built for it. But, you know, as I said, if it's a, if it's a posing city bike that you want, you know, 100%. Really nice cracking machine, well built. Uh, and I enjoyed riding it along the coastal roads. Oh dear. Well, actually it's a really good bike. All right, I think the engine is incredible. It's got so much torque and it feels quite American V-twin-ish in, in the way they've uh, obviously constructed the firing order and everything else. It's awesome for that. Actually, handles okay. The brakes awesome. I, I think it's a cool set of wheels. What I, what I can't quite cope with is riding backwards and across LA, this way, that way, delivering and returning bikes. In, in intense traffic, isn't it? You the concentration followed by the the ride position, which is is meant for short cruises rather than that kind of stuff. Can't fault the bike. It's uh, I, I actually come to really like it. It's, Oh, old old men lying <laughs> down moment, isn't it? This, uh, oh my God, that's this so is. nice. It may feel quite American, but made, honestly, I was I was expecting John Cleese to step out from behind, underneath the helmet there for a moment. You know, just just seeing the um, the wax trail master and he's riding along, like, you know. 